usually starts just whenever I wrap up work. Tonight it happened to be at about 4.30 and then once I finish work, I really like to just make sure I tidy up a bit and clean up the couch wherever I happen to be working. I was doing a lot of just editing stuff today on this day in particular, so I was working a lot from the couch, had a lot of stuff everywhere, so I just like to tidy up while I finish for the evening. My evenings usually start at different times. Sometimes it'll be at 4.30, sometimes <laughs> someone's really hyper, right? <laughs> sometimes it'll be at five, sometimes I'll work a bit later till six. It just kind of depends on the evening. Today, it's about 4.45, I just wrapped up some work. And one thing that I always love to do right at the start of the nighttime, even in the winter time, is to go take Cash out. So he'll either go for a short walk because obviously he has a lot of energy right now. I'm gonna cash. Aiden, he's literally on my <laughs> he has a lot of energy clearly so i'm going to take him to the dog park i've been taking him to a new park that has a lot more dogs so that's usually kind of the start of the evening i like to have a marker of finishing work i think especially when you work from home especially when you work for yourself it's easy just to have the nights blend into your work day but it's nice to have something that kind of differentiates work time versus night time so Taking him out is always that time for me. I'm gonna change out of these clothes because I've been in loungewear. I've been just doing a lot of editing and computer work today. So it's definitely time to get changed into something that's a bit more athleisure to go take him out. listen to something pretty calming while I walk him. So I've been listening to Novo Amor. I think I'm saying that right lately. I love their music. It's just very peaceful. It's just very much a vibe when you're walking. So I'm gonna go ahead and play something on my phone. We are back from the dog park now, which was so nice. There were so many dogs there. Before I go on to the rest of my night routine, I'm gonna go ahead and feed Cash. So I wanted to share that we have been feeding him these Synovi joint supplements. We love these. He loves these. He loves the flavor. I believe these are chicken flavored. We give him two of these a day. Sometimes we'll give him these in the morning, but sometimes we'll also do it at night, depending on if we forgot, which I forgot this morning. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in with his food tonight. If you guys watch my vlogs, you know that Cash is a huge part of our family and is also a very active dog he goes to the dog park he goes on long walks and so it's really important to use synovi these supplements because a lot of those things can be hard on your dog's joints i talked about this in another vlog too but i have been wanting to get him started on something like this for a while and i was so happy to get to work with them on today's video it contains ingredients like glucosamine that helps maintain cartilage structure they also have the national animal supplement council quality seal of approval only certain supplement companies actually meet this requirement and it's very difficult to get so you just know that you're feeding them supplements that have great ingredients. I know a lot of products like this, they'll just add in a bunch of stuff that is not good for your dogs. And if you follow me, you know I try to keep his treats relatively healthy and just having good ingredients, which is why I love feeding him Sonobi G4 because I know that these do have the best high quality ingredients in them. I would definitely recommend asking your veterinarian if this is something that your dog would benefit from because our dogs are just such a big part of all of our lives. And I really do feel like Cash's family, he was literally in our Christmas card photo this year, our first ever one, because I really do feel like our family is much more of a family with him and I want him to live a really long and healthy life. So I'm excited to keep feeding him Sonobi G4 and I will have them linked down below. You can either order from Amazon or you can order through Chewy and do their auto ship program, which is great. So right when you run out, you'll have a new one come in. I'm gonna go ahead and mix these in with this food. We are currently feeding him the farmer's dog. So I'm just gonna mix that in and you'll see how much he loves to eat these. bathroom it's about 6 30 and i'm actually going to take a bath i have been taking a lot more baths recently I've never been a huge bath person but there's something about the winter time even though it wasn't even cold today i mean obviously i'm wearing a tank top it's like 80 degrees in texas but i still feel like it's nice in the winter time to just enjoy your night it gets darker and there's just something about a bath lighting some candles 
putting in some bath bombs and just getting cozy. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna wash my face too and then change into some PJs before cooking some dinner. I recently got this salt lamp. It's just a plug-in. I got this from Amazon and I love the vibe that this sets. You can basically just turn this on. And even if you're just taking a shower, there's just something about a nice like salt lamp glow. So I really like this. I'm gonna use this too while I'm in the bathtub. I use these two products whenever I do take baths at night. This is the sleep bath from Dr. Teal's with melatonin and essential oils. And then I will also use the Dr. Teal's ultra moisturizing bath bomb. So I'll use one of these and then a little bit of the oil. It really moisturizes my body and really calms you down in the evening. That's why I like baths. Again, it's kind of one of those markers that's just marking it's the end of the night, time to unwind. And we typically do eat a bit later because Aiden likes to work out after he gets off work. So so he's in the gym right now and I'm just gonna take myself a nice bath. I'm probably gonna watch something too. Vlogmas is going on right now. So I'm just watching a lot of Vlogmas on my phone with my AirPods. Mm -hmm. I put on this set from Madewell. It's a PJ set that's so comfy. It's like this gauze material. I love it. It's so lightweight. If you get hot at night, I really like this set and it's on sale right now. So I'll have it linked down below. If it's still on sale or if it's still available, it'll be down below. I'm gonna go ahead and do my nighttime skincare. I really keep things really simple. I'm actually just using three products from Dr. Zenovia. My skin, as I've talked about on here, has not been really great lately like this is my skin right now. It's not the worst, but as you can see, I've had just a lot of clogged pores that have stained here. And I'm actually gonna be trying something in January. Might initially hurt my skin a lot, but might help my skin in the long run. So I might open up about that in a video I'm debating if I'm gonna talk about it. We will see if that helps my skin. I'm just gonna do a lot of like reset stuff. So look forward to that in January. Trying new things that I've always been scared to do. I could potentially help my skin a lot. So I use first just the retinol night repair treatment. Everyone has told me that I talked to that retinol is like the most important thing for just anti-aging keeping your skin nice and tight so i really like this it's definitely a bit more pricey but this has lasted me a really long time because i only use a bit each night i am then using the retinol recovery eye cream from dr zenovia as well this is just like a really nice again retinol eye treatment i just use a bit of this underneath my eyes and then for moisturizer i just use their peptide and ceramide ceramide repairing moisturizer i really like this moisturizer it always makes my skin just feel really bouncy after. So I just put a bit of this on and always make sure to drag my skincare products down my neck as well. And then for my eyelashes, my eyebrows, because my hair has been thinning a bit, my lashes and my eyebrows have too, but the Grande Lash has really helped my lashes. It is such a nice lash serum. I just put this on my lashes. I've actually noticed a huge difference with this. So I'll have this link down below. All these products will be linked down below. And then I also have noticed a huge difference with the Grande brow. This one I've used recently, but over the past two months, I definitely have noticed my brows just getting a bit thicker because they really did thin out. And that is all I do for skincare. I keep it really simple. I use a lot of my Tula products in the morning and then these in the evening. So I'm gonna go ahead and make some dinner because I'm quite hungry. It's about seven o'clock and it's gonna take me probably about an hour. So we're gonna get started on that. It is now time to cook some dinner. I am making this creamy white chicken chili. I have been trying recently and I'm not great at this, but I've been trying to eat more in season and eating things with ingredients that are in season. You guys know I love cooking. It's something that just brings me a lot of joy, especially in the evening. I love winding down, just making us a meal together and sharing it together. It's the reason why I do most of our cooking because I just love it so much. Yeah, it's just something that's really special to me and something that I really enjoy, but I get some questions sometimes about who I actually find recipes from. And so I love Half-Baked Harvest, Tegan. I love her recipes. They are generally a bit more time consuming because they take more ingredients too, but I love hers. I love Define Dish recipes from Alex Snodgrass. I love hers. I try to find people who cook with a lot of whole ingredients, things that are like relatively healthy. This one has a lot of cheese and a lot of like heavier things, but 
it's amazing i've made this once before especially for the winter time even though i wish it was cold tonight it's still great i love anything that's really filling in the evening so i'm gonna go ahead and make this and yeah i would really encourage you you don't have to make anything elaborate but it is really special even if you live alone like even when i lived alone in new york city it was always so special in the evenings just to make myself a meal and try to cook for myself and so yeah there's especially something special about it in the winter time too spending time in the kitchen getting cozy i always like to watch some on my phone too i usually watch something on netflix or sometimes i'll just listen to music it's a bit more rare especially when the recipe is going to take an hour too so i'm going to go ahead and get started on this let me know down below what you like to cook in the winter time let me know what your favorite recipe is i'm always looking for new recipes <laughs> dinner and Aiden is cleaning up right now. I'm gonna brush my teeth and then we have been watching Selling Sunset before bed lately and it's like the best comfort kind of like trash TV to watch before heading to bed. So it's about nine o'clock. We usually watch until about 10 30 and then we'll get into bed. But this is actually when I take my CBD. I've talked about this recently. This isn't sponsored or anything, but I've talked about it on Instagram and on a few YouTube videos. But you guys know that insomnia is something that I've dealt with and I have not had trouble falling asleep for months now. I don't necessarily want to say that it's entirely from taking CBD, but I've been taking Equilibria and this stuff has really changed the game. I know I used to be skeptical of CBD. I used to think it was something that it was not and just kind of be unsure if it actually worked, but I have been using this for, I would say about three months now and it really has helped a lot. So I take two of the soft gels at night. I also have the drops that I'll use and then I have the balm, which I don't use as much, but I definitely use the soft gels and the drops a lot. And Aiden has definitely been taking these because I have like not that many left. He takes them too at night because we both struggle a bit with sleep and these have helped a lot. So I'll have these linked down below. I wanted to mention that because they have been a life changer. I know I've talked to a lot of people in my DMs on Instagram who also have struggled with insomnia. And so it's not something that just makes you immediately feel calm. Like you definitely have to use it for a couple of months before you start noticing effects and you have to use it consistently. But I like Equilibria because you can get on a call with a team and they'll like tell you exactly the kind of routine that works for you. When you should take it like this, they said to take it with dinner so it absorbs better and then take it a couple hours before you go to bed. So I'm taking them right now. We realized that we had a leftover crumble cookie in the freezer, so we went ahead and pulled that out and shared that while we watched Selling Sunset on the couch. It was honestly my perfect ideal evening. We then usually get in bed at around 10 30 or so and that's pretty much our evening it's pretty simple nothing crazy but yeah thanks for spending it with me and i'll also have sanobi g4 if you guys want to check them out link down below thank you guys all for being here <laughs> 